It's a sure sign of spring in central New York when Burn Dairy brings back its mint milk to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. We did 200 cases yesterday, we're doing 800 today. Production takes place right in the downtown Syracuse Burn Dairy plant. This is one of the milk trucks right here. His milk line is hooked up to the back of the truck. It's red for raw, and what it's doing is carrying that milk right into our big raw silos that you would see outside. Put all the ingredients in, we bring the raw milk in, and uh, we homogenize it and get it ready to go for, for production. Uh, once it's in the tank, um, it goes over to the filler, uh, and the filler just it fills the bottles, obviously. It caps them up, puts them in a case, uh, throws them out in the cooler, and then from the cooler, uh, right to the truck and to the customer, so classic farm to table. The first day that Burn Dairy bottled milk in 1933, that's when we used glass bottles. I mean, that was all that was available then, and it's never stopped, never stopped. There's, there's customers that just say, look, I think the milk tastes better in glass bottles. There's a good reason for that. The glass bottles are a perfect oxygen barrier. The plastic bottles, the, the paper cartons, which are a combination of paper and plastic, do allow a very small amount of oxygen transfer through the package. So there's, there's a scientific basis for the fact that the milk tastes better. And on top of that, it's the sustainability that we really like. You know, it, it's really developed a following. Some people really, really like it, you know. Right after Valentine's Day, it's when is it going to be in the stores? When is it going to be in the stores? And we do the mint milk starting end of February, and we run it straight through St. Patrick's Day. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is about, you know, having a little Blarney going, and, uh, you know, certainly mint milk fits, fits the bill there.